Gary, uh, given recent results and, you know, an injury crisis, as you've called it, how, how's the mood been in camp this week? The mood's been good. It's, you know, never easy to, to lose football matches and, and to lose five in a row the way we have has been difficult to take. But I think the players have been excellent in this, in this kind of run in terms of their performance. I think with the players that we've had out, and, and key players who've been a big influence to the team throughout the season. Uh, it's been challenging, but I've been delighted with everyone's response. We are given everything to try and win games. I think we're progressing as a team in terms of how we play, the understanding we've got in and out of possession. I love the personality we played with on Saturday at a big stadium, under pressure from a team that was you know, gunning for promotion. We showed that we can we can cope with those uh, experiences and, like I said, it's it's disappointing that we're losing, but we have to keep believing in what we're doing and, and try and turn these performances into results. As you touched on at Hillsborough last weekend, you, you know you must be event, um, immensely proud of the players. You know some are playing out of position, some are playing for the first time this season, and, and how they've adapted to the situation. Yeah, it was amazing. I think. We didn't have a long time to work on the team. We're, we're going day to day in terms of who's fit and available. The physios are working extremely hard to try and get players back. So some players are doing bits of training uh, when they're coming back, trying to get into the team. And then the way we pressed it at Hillsborough was different. So the players are taking that information on now and, and applying it in the game. And I thought out of possession, we were excellent. But then in possession, we dominated the game for for periods by keeping the ball. We also played in the right area with, with Josh Key and Josh Coley down the sides. Their speed was a real threat in the game. So, so many good things from the game that we can analyse, show the players and, and give them more belief. Uh, but big moments against the better teams in this league are costing us at the moment. We have to be prepared for the free kick that led to the first goal. We have to be prepared for the the, the attack that they had down the right-hand side that leads to the second goal. And we have to defend those moments better. And if we do that, then these performances will turn into more points. I think it was seven first-team players missing on Saturday. Give us some good news. Are we expected to see any, any of those back on <laughs> Ipswich? Uh, I'm not sure would be the honest answer. We are going to give them right to the last minute. Some players did a little bit of training yesterday. Uh, and some might do a bit more today, but then we don't know how they're going to react to that. We have to almost play it hour by hour and, and see who can get on that bus tomorrow uh, to come and, and try and contribute on Saturday. Given that there are only two matches of the season, perhaps if a player is 80% ready, would, would there be an opportunity for, for them, given that there's probably less impact if it was early in the season? Yeah, that's down to Michael, the player. Uh, we're, we obviously would never put, put a player at risk, but... Uh, it might be the case that you know a player can give us 10 minutes, a player can give us 20 minutes and that is going to be massive that we can fill the bench. We were obviously one light on the bench on, on Saturday, uh, but hopefully we can fill the bench this week and players can give us some contribution to the game. So that is what Michael and Sam are basically working towards, getting everyone as fit as they can be to contribute in whatever way they can. Final away game of the season and we've probably saved the hardest till last haven't we <laughs> it's a bit of a trick yeah <laughs> um an unbelievable side ips which we saw how they they beat barnsley in midweek they're not on an incredible run how do we stop that uh with a lot of hard work a lot of detailed preparation in terms of an analysis tactically be ready uh to to try and stop them in when they're in possession uh, but also have a clear game plan when we have the ball, how we're going to hurt them, how we're going to keep the ball off them, and, and the bravery we're going to need to show in both sides of the game is, is going to be huge at a, a stadium that's going to be full. Uh, so we know how difficult this, this game is. I think they're the best team in the league. Uh, I think they will get promotion. They potentially might win the league. So uh, we know how difficult the task is, but as we've always been, we'll be prepared, we'll be ready, and we'll give it everything we've got. And the pressure is all on them. Of course, they need that result to get promoted. Um, do we need to feed off that pressure and, and, and play, into, play to our advantage? Today? Yeah, I thought we did that really well on Saturday. I thought we controlled the game first half. We controlled the tempo of the game. 
we kept the ball for large periods and they were booed off Sheffield Wednesday at half time. So we, uh, how we managed the game was was really pleasing, and we we will definitely have to do this the same again on Saturday. In these final two matches of, you know, it's been a fantastic season, really, hasn't it? What do you want from your players? I want a level of performance that that I think we've get, gave recently. Uh, I want an understanding of how we approach. Obviously, different teams. We're playing one team going for promotion. We're playing one team that's fighting for relegation. So, the understanding of how we approach these games, uh, how we prepare tactically, the information that the players receive, and then how they go and apply that in the game. I think we're learning a lot in this moment, or about the players, the group uh, as a whole. Uh, and how we deal with difficult moments, we are we are learning. But uh, as I say every week, we need to be competitive, and we want to try and win every game. So you know, to try and get six points, that is the aim. Uh, but at this moment in time, when we have the injury crisis and the end of a long season, I think it's also important that we we see a performance and we see an understanding of how we are going to be as a as a team next season as well. Moving away from on field matters to the training grounds here, um, we can see. The pitch in front of the training ground is, is starting to be renovated by Chaz and the team. I think they're working on all of them over the summer. How, uh, how important are those, are those pitch works to you? Yeah, I think they're huge. I think the building we're sitting in is, is amazing. The money the club has spent on this is fantastic. But again, they're spending money on you know, the infrastructure in terms of the pitches. And uh, I think that's massive in how, how we can prepare, how we can train as a, as a team. You know, having the best pitches, having this building gives us an opportunity to, to be the best we can be. So, again, thanks to the club for the, the finances they've put in and, and thanks to Chaz and his team for the work and, the, you know, the, the, the whole season, really, the work they've put in is incredible. He's on it at the moment because he's got his toys out there, he's got tractors, he's got sand, and he is, he, it's great to see how much he loves his job and how much effort and time he puts into it but uh, it's a big thanks to them for the you know for what they're doing now and, and hopefully the pitches next year are, are much better for us to train on and also the work he's done at SGP I think it's the best pitch in the league and that's testament to him and his team. We've got the opportunity to celebrate this season on Sunday at, at the awards dinner over at Winslade Manor um, obviously you'll be your first one with the club are you looking forward to Sunday night? I'm um, yeah. Uh, I think it's always good to, you know, show appreciation to it, to the players and everyone at the club, uh, and have that celebration. I think it's been our first season back at, in League One. It's been a really successful one in terms of what we've achieved as a team. It's been a little bit turbulent for a club that never, you know, or very rarely loses their manager. For the manager to leave, and the, and the change at the club, I understand how difficult that is for this club because it's not something they do regular. So. I think we've managed that well and I think it's good to acknowledge everyone's achievements and, and look to the future as well in, in next season. And finally, the Exeter City women play their final league game on Sunday. Um, if they win, there's potential that they could win the league that they're currently top of. Do you, do you have a message for Abby, Aaron and the team? Yeah, good luck. I think it's great that they are you know, having a really successful season as well. Uh, and hopefully they, they get the job done and, and get promotion because uh, it's really important that we have both a, a men's and a women's team that are uh, performing at a high level and doing well, so it's great to see.